Your empire is nothing but an old maid servant, accustomed to being raped by everyone. Napoleon Bonaparte. So there is your Napoleon quote for today, guys. The man was savage, all right? Uh, so he said that uh, while he was negotiating with the Austrians and they didn't agree to all his terms, he got very upset. I think he threw down like a, a teacup of some sort. It shattered. And he said, this is your empire, or this is going to be your empire. And then he said that quote. Quote. So yeah, he was um, he was pretty upset. So in his honor, I mean that's why I love him. So we've got a uh, four verse four, eight armies on the battlefield, and uh, we've got some pretty historically accurate alliances. Uh, on one side, we have two British armies from 1815. How how convenient. And then we have two Russian armies, one from 1799, and the other being from 1812, and they are taking on all French forces. Now, if we look at the uh, the forces attacking the French, these are the two nations that essentially brought down Napoleon. So that might be the reason why uh, they are going as the Russians and uh, the British. And you know, I find it very funny that you know it's it's the whole internet thing where it's like you call the French cowards and stuff, but it was the Russians who were running away uh, from the French. Only, you know, to, to hide and, and, and to be terrified of their great armies because they lost to them pretty much every time. And the only way they could beat them is, uh, well, by running away. So, it, you know, it was a good strategy. It was a good strategy. I give them that. But it's just kind of ironic, right? Don't you think? Don't you think? I don't. That's just me. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, uh, you can see that this is going to be about capturing um, capture points, victory points to win the game. So there's one, two, three, four, five capture points. Two of them are worth four points. So these are going to be probably the, the most heated areas. We've got one here and the one closer towards the British deployment or the British alliance deployment or the coalition or the al I'll just call them the allies. Uh, and then the French, of course, are going to take this castle and use it as a great defensive position. Uh, so if we head back over here, it looks like this is going to start out like the classic NTW battle start out where, you know, the Cav is going to charge forward. That was the terrible way to phrase that, but you get what I'm saying. It's going to start off with aggressive Cav movement and scouting and, and so on and so forth. Now, the Russians were able to deploy a vanguard unit. That's why he was able to take this farmhouse so quickly. So, so far, the Russian or the, the allies are in the lead with one point without killing a single Frenchman. Uh, but I'm sure that will change very, very quickly. So, let's actually go ahead and fast forward, guys, and wait until these armies are in formation. Now, we're starting to see some French cav over here because this is the point of view of the Russian, the Allies' uh, point of view. So we have to kind of wait for the French forces to appear on the battlefield. We've got some Dragoons over here scouting out the area. Man, I love this mod. It's just so good. Also, guys, there has been a recent patch for December. I don't know if it's a good patch. Sometimes when they patch the game, it causes even more issues. I, I'm not saying that it did. I'm just letting you guys know that I'm probably going to download that patch pretty soon. So... If you have the older version without the patch, make sure you get that patch. So if you send me replays, uh, it will be the right, you know, the right, it'll match up, you know, it'll be the right version of the mod. Uh, but yeah, the Russians are pushing forward, the, the 1799 Russians pushing forward, scouting out the area. Uh, they don't see anything yet, I assume. Now the French are kind of, well, they've got some artillery over here. Are the Russians going to go for it? Do they see it? I don't know. I hear people cheering or yelling or, yeah, or cheering, I suppose. No, okay, I think he was thinking about going in for a charge against that artillery. The artillery that's kind of dead in the water and in the trees. By the way, uh, guys, trees do slow down artillery in this game by a lot. So you have to be very aware of that. Be you know, Observe that kind of stuff because you don't want to send your artillery in the forest and then get it cut down by enemy cav. And here, here is the French, the great French army as they push onto the battlefield. So excellent. We hear more screaming though. Is it? Oh, no, no. He was thinking about it. Oh, no, he's still thinking about it. The Russians might be going in for that artillery, but the artillery is protected by some cav now, some dragoons. The French dragoons are going to scare off these Russians, and uh, they're going to uh, hide back into the forest, and that's pretty much all we're going to get for an engagement so far. Usually that happens, guys. I mean, look at these armies. Look at this. Look at th How do you not, like... How do you go back to normal Napoleon? You just don't. 
you just don't guys these battles are like an hour long they're super they're just super like tactical super cinematic the the uniforms the extra units the extra factions the the mechanics I don't know. I'm never going back to Vanilla Napoleon. In fact, when I go back to Vanilla Napoleon, I'm like, what is this? Is this like a mobile phone game? Like, come on. <laughs> okay, not really. It's still a great game, but uh, this mod just like intensifies it that much more. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't seem like the French are pushing too wide on the battlefield. Uh, that makes a lot of sense because they don't need to. All they need to do is capture this building here, capture this building here, and then capture this one, and they win. It's over. It'll be uh, four, five, six against five. Six to five. And that's kind of good for the French because all the buildings here are clustered near each other. So, yeah, they don't need to stretch out their armies too thin. And now the French are kind of taking a little, a little post here, or, or basically getting ready for a defensive position in this town, waiting for the Russians to arrive. Okay, so the forces have uh, now pushed forward and the Russians are going to go ahead and open fire from the building. I think the French are going to try quickly try to move up their regiments here. Try to take out this farmhouse before the Russians arrive. The Russians are quickly pushing forward uh, some of their own infantry to uh, try to get over there and support the troops in the building. But here comes the French and sure enough, they're going to charge in some grenadiers. They're going to go into the fight. Uh, now, I just want to address here that my mouse, unfortunately, is broken. Uh, I, it might be able to be fixed, but you know how you can angle the camera screen by holding down the mouse wheel? Well, that doesn't work anymore. I have to use the keyboard. Uh, thank God Intel gave me a new mouse. So shout out to, or not Intel, uh, Logitech. Thank God for Logitech, so shout out to them giving me a new mouse, which I might have to start using now because my Razer mouse has broken. And I, I don't want to be a hater against Razer, but every time I get their stuff, it breaks, like, within months. It doesn't even last a year, so pretty frustrating. Anyways, back to the battle, guys. <laughs> Little rant there. The French are pushing hard. The Russians, thinking about going in for a camp charge, the French kind of defending their infantry there against that Russian cav. And finally, the Russian infantry now arriving to the battlefield. Oh, man, and they're going to try to use these trenches here, it looks like, a little bit. The French are going to try to support. Uh, it looks like the French had to deal with some cav charges there. They do form square. We do have another building. Oh, farmhouse lost. So it looks like the French did take the farmhouse. Now the Russians are kind of out of position right now because they were trying to quickly get over there. And by doing that, I think this has kind of backfired for the Russians. I mean, it was a cool strategy to put troops in the building, like, right away. But that kind of caused the other Russian forces to push forward and to, like, try to quickly get men over there to save that unit in that building. And by doing so, uh, he kind of carelessly lost men there. Uh, but it's not, like, a drastic loss. So you can still turn this around. Now the French pushing up even more lines here. we got the Brave over here pushing forward. The French still holding. The French are actually now maneuvering out of here. I don't think they like this situation. This is just so epic. The lines, man. The line battles. I love it. But the French are going to reform. I think they're... Yeah, they are getting a little overwhelmed over here. The rest of the, uh, the Russian forces from 1799 are flanking around. But we do have some French troops ready to defend the flank of their comrades. Ready to hold against the Russian forces. So there we go. A nice little engagement going on. Uh, for this farmhouse absolutely absolutely stunning the british now have the very difficult task of moving and taking this building okay thank you thank you for the update moving up and taking this building which is going to be probably the most challenging task in this entire battle uh just because it's so steep of a hill very easy to defend he is pushing over even more british forces this way so the british are going to try to Really use the map here and really try to flank around the British uh, position, but I think the French are well aware of it. They've got, yep, they've got artillery kind of shelling the British as they continue to march across the battlefield. Not getting a lot of good hits, but it, you know, it's it's just letting the British know, like, hey, we we know you're here, okay? Uh, but this center battle is really heating up, and the, I think the French are are holding their ground pretty effectively as the Russians now pushing in some grenadiers. They're going to do what Russians do best, going into melee. Uh, but it is funny, bayonet is a French word and a French invention. So, uh, we all know who the true masters of the bayonets are. 
the Russians. No, <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, but the French are going in. Uh, they're going to try to hold their ground against these uh, these Russians. Now we've got some Cav support charging in as well. Just so legendary. Just so epic, man. This I just love this time period. Such a fascinating time period. So, like, it's such organized warfare and just... It's, it's very interesting. Anyways, Cav charge coming in the Dragoons. Going after the Grenadiers. Trying to take them off the battlefield, which is going to save a lot of their men. Will it be enough? Though? No, the Grenadiers are going to be able to get out of their pull back. And now the line infantry pushing uh, forward once again and trying to cut down these French uh, before they can regroup. And sure enough, they are already regrouping, breaking out of shield, uh, shield formation, out of square formation because the, the Russian cab has dispersed. And they are going elsewhere. There they go. The Russians pushing forward. Excellent, excellent. British now sending over some forces towards this center as well. They're going to support the Russian uh, forces as they continue to push. And it's quite clear that... Oh, there goes another... Oh, no, another Grenadier charge. Oh, and they break the French with that charge. And they might even break this other unit. Now we've got another Grenadier from the Russian player coming in. And they are breaking the French lines. Now the French are going to throw in their Dragoons. Try to prevent this gap from opening, preventing more Russians to be able to, to run through here. Dragoons are going in, guys. Dragoons are going in. This is epic, epic fight right here. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now my mouse wheel is working. It's working. Okay, a little bit. Uh, but yeah, a nice little charge. That was a good move. The French are now having to fall back a little bit. They are taking on a lot of forces right now. Uh, just outnumbered. It seems like they have most of their forces concentrated on this flank. We also have some artillery over here. Um, that is... Um, oh, there we go. That is firing down at the Russian lines. So that's a nice little advantage that's going towards the French. That might cause the Russians to have to push forward here. Because they obviously can't just sit back and get hit with artillery. Though, I mean, artillery isn't as deadly as you think, unless you're doing canister shot, which they might switch to as the Russians get a little bit closer here. Um, so that could be costly. Let's see how the Russians play this out. I personally would not do a frontal uh, engagement here. In fact, I would keep my distance and continue to push through the center and maybe try to wrap around and get around these French forces. Uh, or maybe, you know what the Russians are doing, are kind of making a little bit of a sacrifice over here. And he's going to try to keep the French occupied so he can't send over any reinforcements over to the center. But the Russians are causing some issues, pretty pretty nasty issues for the French. Having to fall back, having to retreat. And now the Russians are going in for the kill, guys. Going in to try to take this building back. Uh, which, by the way, they have. They have taken the building. Looks like they defeated the Grenadiers who were garrisoned inside this, the, the farmhouse. Uh, we do have, let's see. Oh, I thought we had artillery over here, but we do not have artillery. But he does have some French Cav just kind of watching over the 7th, 7E Hussars. More French Cav kind of falling back. Maybe he's looking for an opportunity for a Cav charge, but it just is not there. See, so most of these units can form square. So that's going to be a problem for him uh, later down on the line. So the French are fully retreating from this area. Look at this. They are fully retreating from this area. Now, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What do we got over here? Let's see what's going on. The French are pushing over some cav, trying to zone out the British cav from flanking around. And the British are falling back. I think it's because the French cav have a little bit uh, of an advantage in numbers. So the British are going to fall back here and probably most likely go to the safety of their infantry, which we can't even see a lot of. But he's got to be careful. That artillery is really shell in this position. He could get a good hit right here, uh, which could be costly. But, I mean, this is a huge clumping of forces. Let's see if the... The artillery will go for it. He is reloading. Let's see if they get it. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. This is perfect. Right down this. What are you firing at? Come on. A little too far to the left, man. Uh, this is a prime target. Imagine all the kills he can get here. Be unbelievable. Let's go back over to the uh, the juicy fight. where it, uh, Which is calming down a little bit. So the French are kind of divided. Uh, which is really surprising. Uh, because, you know... Oh, did, are they leaving the artillery behind? The artillery was not able to get out of there. And the French are also falling back over here. They just don't want to get divided here. The Russians will not divide us. Alright? They've got to fall back. And uh, probably join up with the rest of their forces. But will they be able to do it? If I was Russia, I would not let him fall back. I would keep pushing. 
and preventing them from any chance of uh, uniting with his forces over there. Uh, which it looks like he is trying to do. He is getting some pop shots over here. You know, trying to, to weaken his forces a little bit uh, as they continue to fall back and, uh, you know, march back to the safety of his other forces. Oh, some artillery shelling down the French artillery. A lot of French reserves over on this side, just kind of stationary. You might want to get those guys moving. I mean, honestly, I, would, I wouldn't give up so easily. I would have kept fighting. Now, the French, or I'm sorry, the British have now moved most of their forces, and you can see kind of looks like some artillery came through these lines or they're just you know marching a little unorganized um but yeah i don't know what the artillery is going for maybe there's some units over here that i didn't see but this is a beautiful target they could go for just doesn't seem like they're going for it now the french are um they're now maneuvering their forces over to the other side preparing for this british flank uh the french cav still scouting out the area still keeping their cav in the area just to make sure you know nothing gets behind them but you can see, I mean, this is not good for the French. This is not good at all. And I really hope he moves these units over here. Uh, so, yeah. He should probably move them a little bit so they don't get chewed up. Uh, but the French still trying to fall back. And look at this, a massive cap charge to slow down, to give support to his men as they fall back. And I think this is going to be like a, a sacrifice, essentially, uh, to save his line infantry. Which is really unfortunate. Now, this cav unit should return. It did slow down the Russians for a few seconds. And that might... Oh! More more French cav running over this way. We've got the seven e hussars coming around. So, we're going to see what he's going to be able to do here. Um, again, I think he's just sacrificing his cav a little bit to slow down the Russians. Now, the French are falling back. So, we are a little bit of a slower pace of a battle here. So, we're going to fast forward a little bit. Just a tad bit and wait and see what's going on. Okay, the Russians going in for a charge. Okay, we can go just as a quick little fast forward there. Going for a charge. Oh my god, Frenchmen are flying across the battlefield. And the Russians charge in and really soften up uh, these skirmishers. So a nice little move there. They're going to get in and get out. They did break, but that's very common. They'll come back. They'll, you know, collect themselves and they'll be able to rejoin the battlefield once again. Finally, the French are moving out of there. And reforming their lines. And yeah, they're taking a very extreme defensive defensi defensive maneuver here. Uh, but I think pretty soon the French should just... I don't know. Like, I, I still think it's silly that they gave up so easily. They have so many reserves. And they're, they're really just counting on this very, very defensive position. Look, he's even got units in the buildings firing down. So this is going to be so difficult. They're, the French are just kind of letting themselves get surrounded. Which I don't think is ever a wise wise decision, especially in this time period. Uh, I just feel like the British, now that they have the French right where they want them, they can really just sit back. And they can skirmish down their numbers, uh, wait until the very end of the game. I mean, they don't even have to engage here. The French need to make an aggressive move. That's the whole point of these capture points, is that stuff like this doesn't happen. Where the French are being super defensive... Which is so unlike the French, by the way. Uh, so super defensive to the point where they don't even try to capture anything. We do have a little sneaky cam charge going around behind Russian lines. That's a good little maneuver right there. He's got uh, his two units of calf here. He might try to go for the artillery, which is kind of... Oh, wait. This is an artillery. First, I keep thinking it's horse artillery. Yeah, this is not artillery. Um, but yeah, they might go for some vulnerable unit of some sort now that they are behind enemy lines. So a good little move there. That's smart. But yeah, the French are falling back. Now maybe the French are hoping that the British will be kind of careless with his forces. And the Russians, they'll just kind of like charge in into the defenses. And then once they're really weak, the French will move out and then start to retake some of these capture points. That might be the strategy he's going for. Uh, but the British, the, the allies are being very, very, they're very, they're being very patient about this. They're not, oh, let's see, what's going on here? Oh, nice little, oh yeah, nice little cav engagement. So much, yeah. Wait, how did all this French cav get over here? I don't, I thought I saw two, not four. I guess they were hidden in the trees. 
Uh, but they are able to take care of those French cap. And unfortunately, they're so close to the edge of the battlefield, they will most likely break and never return. So that is one downside of being so close to the red line, guys. Sometimes, you, sometimes units that will break will return, but if you're too close, they'll just get off the battlefield and you'll never see them again. So that was a nice little move, but nothing really came from it. The allies took care of that pretty quickly. Uh, so now the Russians pushing forward. And finally, we're going to have ourselves a line engagement. The French are going to hold their ground. No more falling back. They're going to make their stand. And hopefully, hopefully we're going to see some aggressive play here from the French as they try to push out again and try to reclaim some of these uh, capture points. Because so far, technically, guys, this is a... They, they haven't captured them yet, uh, but they will. It's in the safety of the allies. We got four points, five, six points for the allies. And only five points for the French. Uh, so that could change. I mean, I've seen crazier things, crazy, crazy things at NTW3. But that changes very quickly at the end of the round. Or very suddenly, I should say. But yeah, the French are outnumbered over here. And they are getting uh, skirmished down a little bit on the flank over here as well. Or they are, they are about to. The British, or I'm sorry, the French are now pushing back their lines. They're going to try to support their men from the little uh, river bed here, the riverside. Uh, and let's see. Yep, the Russians are new, now moving forward. I think he's going to try to get out of sight of these, uh, these Frenchmen. Let's see if they can get close enough to pop some shots and to bring some support to his allies. Because they are desperately, desperately in need of support. Here we go. Nice. There we go. Getting some shots. The Russians are going to send over some maybe Grenadiers to try to, to match them, to mirror them. But here's the battlefield, guys. Absolute slaughter so far. The British are breaking over here. Nice little French cap going after some British lights. That was a good move. The British have pretty much sur surrounded this like defensive uh, position here. But he's going to need to do a lot more than just that. And now the British are pushing wide on the flank. He's got the King German Legion over here. He has uh, some 18th Hussars, uh, which are pretty good. So yeah, he's got some decent units. The artillery still firing over here, still trying to soften up the British lines as they continue to try to flank around. And my mouse is just driving me nuts, guys. It's just driving me nuts. There we go. The French still holding the line. Hold the line. Look at these second E grenade or two E grenade. Uh, Grenades. Grenadiers look fantastic. Fire! Nice little line battle there. Yeah! Beautiful. 12V. E. They're still holding their own. So let's zoom out here and just kind of see how this is progressing. The Russians, I think they realize they've got to get something going on because I think the French are actually winning this line battle. But I don't know how long it's going to last because we do have a huge force of Russians going through the vegetation, going through the street here, which is kind of overgrown with some vegetation. And they're going to try to get behind the French lines. And there they go. There they go, guys. They are actually going to do it. The French are going to fall back, uh, but they are getting surrounded, guys. We've got an extra unit of reserve trying to contain them, trying to prevent them from breaking every single unit of theirs and it's amazing how you can get a chain route going oh wait is this a is this an infantry charge is this a bayonet charge by yes yes some grenadier units some line infantry uh, they're gonna try to get in here and hopefully they don't oh they've got a shot ready but will it no it will not break the french they're gonna keep pouring in the russians do a counter charge and look at this aggressive charge here Beautiful, beautiful. Now we got some French cab being thrown into the fight as well. And now the French are, well, they've got to reform over here. They're now holding their own against the Russians. And the Russians are now on the run, guys. They're now falling back because they realize that that is a losing battle. So this is actually pretty smart from the French. I think they're, I think they're playing a little possum, guys. Not so much over here. They kind of got obliterated. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think that was a good move to charge in like that. It was epic as hell, but I don't think it was a good move because he kind of just like walked we into the... Oh, wow, wow, wow. They so there goes a French general. Who was it? Was it Napoleon? 
Probably not. Um, but yeah, he kind of walked into the Russian sandwich, right? Uh, where he had one piece of bread here, and the other piece of bread was swinging around here. He charged in, and the Russians were able to just close in and surround him. Uh, so now the French have really lost. I mean, they've lost a lot of ground. <laughs> they've lost a lot of ground. But they are making a push over on this side. A little bit of a cab charge over here. There we go. So, yeah, they're going to push forward. And uh, they're going to try to uh, pepper down these guys. And retake some of the territory that they lost earlier in this battle. We are we're about halfway, a little bit less than halfway through the fight. And what I was going to say about the French, what, what they were doing seemed kind of smart. It was that it seemed like they were kind of playing possum there a little bit. They are playing like, oh, we don't have this. There's no way we can turn this around. Let's retreat. And then out of nowhere, they kind of switch it around. And now they're on the aggressive push over here. But the fact that he lost all of his units, the French, on this side, kind of hurts that. It hurts that a lot. Because that French presence on this side of the, the riverside, it doesn't, it's not there. So now the Russians are going to be able to send back reinforcements, which they are, to focus down on the French. Uh, which the French just do not have enough on this flank to stop this massive force who are coming back to support uh, their men. Now the British look at this. Now the British are making the very steep hike. Man, like this is so steep. Like, you know, take away the battle and the guns and the bayonets, but just show that hill and I'll be like, nah. Now that hill has already conquered me. <laughs> that hill is too steep for me. I'm too out of shape for that. <laughs> no, but but seriously, that is going to be very challenging to take on these French as they use the high ground against the British. Artillery is trying to shell this position as well. Just trying to soften them up, trying to make it easier for the French or easier for the British infantry to get up here. Oh, now we got a cab charge coming down. And they are going after units who cannot form square. And this might be huge, guys. Here they come. Here they Oh, artillery. Oh, that was epic. Artillery hits them as they charge through. That was so cool. So a nice little charge there indeed. But will it be enough? It doesn't look like it. It just seems like there's so many British forces. They're just not able to break these guys. And the British are not even sending in reinforcements. I think the British are, are complete. Yep, they broke the French. Wow, amazing. Usually you break a unit or two there. But he was not able to do that. Now the French line's reforming. Getting ready to fire down on the British forces. Alright, let's go back over here. More and more. Oh, yeah. More and more British firing up the hill. If I can get a view. There we go. So, yeah, I have to use the C and V key to change the angle of the camera. Very, very frustrating. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they're really getting that great of hits. But maybe they are. Let's see. Yeah, they're getting some kills. They're getting some kills. Defend the hill, man. Defend the hill. That looks epic. And you see all the British lines. Look at them. Look. In the forest, there's more. Hold. Oh, my God. Look at that. This massive British push. This is epic. Here they go. They're going to try to take this hill once and for all. Once and for all. The British. Oh, wait. No, the French have sent up reinforcements. The French have sent up reinforcements. Uh, what else is going on over on this side? I think we have a little bit of a, a bridge defense. A land bridge defense. Yeah, it's got some troops over here defending. Also over here, something happened. I think a cap charge maybe. I don't know. These battles are so massive. There's so much like battlefield to cover. It's hard to get everything. Uh, but yeah, the French are now pushing back the Russians once more with those extra reinforcements. Yeah, he's just trying to line up his men, getting them ready. Now we've got more men coming up this way. Look at these thick lines, too. Thick. There we go. He's going to push up. He might. Is he going in for a bayonet charge? He's getting awfully close to the Russian lines. I think he just wants to get extremely close, get a good shot off. Oh, there they go. They're retreating. The Russians are retreating. And the French are now making a bold push to take back this capture point. And just try to turn this battle around. Which has kind of been a struggle. The British are now falling back as well. I don't think they like this engagement. They're really just putting down the fire. But 
I don't know if they're really doing that much over here. Seems like they're mostly firing into the dirt, firing into the trees. Come on, second E. Hold your ground. For 12 E, not second E, my bad. <laughs> uh, I stopped you, you were about to leave a comment, weren't you? Like, idiot, it's 12 E, not second. Gotcha. All right, there we go. They're going to push forward now. They kind of got the Russians surrounded here a little bit. You can see they're forming a very wide, obtuse V, I guess you could say. Almost, uh, yeah, nice little wide angle here. Trying to surround the Russians. The Russians are going to do a tactical retreat. Try to get them probably in the safety of the city here. Uh, safe and sound. But, yeah, they're falling back here. It's not looking great for them. As they constantly backtrack, constantly fall back. And get to the safety of the city. Back over here. Whoa, what's going on over here? A, a, a little bit of a crossing here from the Russians who were trying to get into the town. The French Cav able to charge in. They kind of slow them down. Not saying that they're killing a ton here, but they're certainly uh, slowing them down a bit. Hurt their morale a little bit. And now the French line was able to set up some, uh, some grenadiers to help hold this. Look at these guys. Oh, oh, beautiful. And they're actually going to push forward and not let them take any more ground. Push down the hill, men. Set up the defenses. So the Russians going with a nice little push there. But it didn't really lead to anything. And now the British are going to, uh, again, continue to push for the hill. Continue to skirmish down these French. Which they are making some pretty good damage. Look at this. They are, whoa, the artillery. I love that. They are really taking out these French and uh, making it very difficult for them. Uh, which is pretty pretty tragic, pretty tragic for their defense. I think, I mean, pretty soon the, the British might be able to just charge in and get some, in, yeah, get some good kills, like just bayonet car, uh, kills, because look, the French are already breaking, guys. The French are already breaking from this hill. It's looking very promising for them. And we look at, you can see all the British lines that are breaking, fleeing from the battle. Uh, so this is huge. This is huge for the, for the French. For them to win this battle, they've got to win decisively over here. Which, so far, they're doing a good job. A little bayonet charge from the Russians. But the French are still holding their own. I don't expect these guys to last much longer. Oh, actually, no. They broke the Grenadiers of Russia. Wow. Now we've got more, more Grenadiers charging in. So epic, man. Oh, death of an allied general. Death of an allied general. I don't know where that's where that is. I, I probably could have looked at it, but I'm more interested in this epic melee of going on. So legendary. Even at the standard here, he's like, I will fight to the bitter. Look at he got two kills. We just witnessed him getting oh come on. No, he got shot. Or banned. I don't know what kind of death that was. Uh, but he's dead. He lost the colors. Get the colors. Oh, and the French are now having to retreat. Pretty even engagement. Both forces losing a lot of men there. Now the line battles are, uh, are getting pretty intense. They're really trying to, um, you know, soften up these Russians. Really trying to push them back. Uh, let's go back over to the other side because it seems like a little bit of a Mexican standoff over here. A little bit of a stalemate. Not much happening over there. Uh, most of the action is all right here where oh the, the British are now falling back What oh they are going in for well? They're not quite going in for a bayonet charge But they are pushing up the hill trying to take a chunk of it trying to take control of somewhere up on this hill So they can continue to push up more troops here comes a bayonet charge from the uh, 23rd foot royal ghost against the brave Or the brave they break the British. And now the British are falling back over on this side as well. So they did not... I guess there's something about it they did not like. They felt like they'd probably lose too, too many men to too, you know, to too few men. And now the Russians are also falling back as well. So mass retreat over there. Maybe it's because of this push over here. It could be because of the French push. It could be like, you know, we need to send over reinforcements and support this side before the French defeat us. But yeah. 
The Russians are getting chewed up. I mean, their numbers, their their regiments are getting pretty depleted, guys. We've got more troops running over on this side. Yep, the Russians are starting to break left and right over on the center. Will the French be able to take this area? Will they be able to push them back? Which could be huge because they could swing around and take out the British forces over here. So I think the British are sending over reinforcements, it looks like. Or they're sending them up on this this uh, little land bridge which the uh, the French are gonna have to try to turn around quickly and get ready for a little bit of a line engagement got the 91st 91st foot Highlanders let's see come on turn around turn around there we go they're about to turn around turn around men a little bit quicker there we go waiting for the command and fire back and we got a ferocious line battle between two heavy grenadier type big units a little bit of some cav over here stuck on the uh, pathfinding. Excellent. The British have fallen back to the vegetation. So a little bit of a stalemate between the two forces. And yeah, the British are pretty content with this. They're like, all right, hey, you want to stay up on that hill? That's fine. We don't need to go up there. We don't need to take that building because we'll have enough points if we take the other ones. So that's fine. Take your hill. We don't want it. But if they lose this, then they've got to take this hill. And so far, it's still very close over here. Extremely close. So yeah, so far, the French doing what they can to flank around. Nice little fire there into the flank of these guys. 108E. Wow. 17E. There they go. They're going to turn their, their ranks around. Oh, no. They're going to keep pushing. They just really want to get on the flank of these uh, these Russians. There we go. Oh, are we going to get a bayonet charge? I am not sure. But they are pushing forward. Nope. They're just going to get a little bit closer. Reform. And put down the suppressing fire once again on these uh, Russian musketeers. Let's go back over to the hillside. Let's see what's happening here. So, yeah, I mean, I think this is smart from the British. I think they would have... I mean, I think they still could have won if they charged the hill. But, like, it was, like, kind of up in the air, you know? Like, it was 50-50. The, the French might have won that one as well. So, I think this is smart. There's no need to try to take this hill. You don't need it. You don't need it to win. And if the French want to just, you know, be super defensive, let them be defensive. And just use it against them. And that's kind of like... They built this fence around them. This wall of, of lobsters. To uh, not let them, uh, you know, push out and try to take out other other capture points. The Russians, though, have sent over reinforcements. There's a lot of Russian forces up here. They do have some nice... A nice vantage, uh, vantage point. And we are um, about the final stage of the battle. There's about 20 minutes left in this fight. So it's going to be a close one. The French trying to go in for a cap charge. Trying to break these Russians quickly. Uh, the Russians are really depleted in this town. And now they're going in for a bayonet charge with some grenadiers. The French are going to go into square formation because we do have some British King German Legion cav. And oh, we've got the general. We have a general. Let's see if the British go for him. Oh wow, they're breaking. They're breaking the French flank. The bayonet charge has paid off. And this is huge for the Russians. Because in the center, they are struggling. And in the center, they are breaking, guys. They are breaking. We can see some units here. Um, so that's huge. Uh, but they need to quickly reposition themselves. Get behind the French. French are now sending over reinforcements that just won in the center. To get over here and defend this flank. Let's see if they can do it. Come on. Oh, wait. They're going to form up. There goes the charge. So the Russians doing what they do best. They're just charging into melee. Just not even going to give the French a chance to fire their guns. And once again, they're just slowly, slowly pushing back the French. Excellent, excellent bayonet charge. Now the British cab, they're pushing hard. I don't know what they're going for, but they're going for something. They have something. Their eyes are on the prize. I don't know what they're going. Here they go. Going behind the French. They're going to charge in. Try to get these guys. Let's see. There we go. Nice little rear charge there. Now the French are kind of falling back with some of their cav. They are breaking. British cav kind of causing some major issues 
for uh, the French, making this very difficult and kind of turning this battle around. The French are now falling back. They're falling back, giving up this town. A great, great, just great teamwork from three different players. Cav, you got the infantry, good use of them uh, in this, in this, in that little engagement. Uh, but the British are finally breaking. Their cab couldn't take it any longer. So maybe the French will recover from this a little bit. It's still pretty difficult to tell. Um, but yeah, the French have got to do something here. Like, this is just not going to plan. They need to do something. That, like, maybe push on this side. I don't know how many British are over here, but maybe it's not that much. Like, maybe you can get the British by surprise. It really sucks that the artillery is lost over here. Yeah, I don't know. There's a little bit of a push over here on this side. Still, the Grenadier is still holding the line over here. Hold! Now we're at 17 minutes left in the replay. French are reforming. Repositioning. Over on this side, the French are also trying to fire through the gaps of the town. Trying to fire at the flank of the Russians who are moving through. Do we have more calf? Yep, more British calf uh, horse guard. The Blues coming in. Uh, and they're going to they're gonna finish off what's left of the French over here. Look at this. There they go. There they go. And that should break them. They do form square. So maybe not. Maybe not. So the French still holding on here. Uh, the, oh, they're going in for a bayonet charge. I think they're going to try to support the British Cavs. So once again, a nice little Russian infantry, British Cav combination that has been very costly for the uh, the French. Ah, excellent. Good little volleys there. There we go. They're finishing off the French in the center as well. So this little French pushback is not, it's just not going well. It was going well, but only for so long. Uh oh, wait a second. Look at this, the French are crossing. They are crossing the land bridge and they're now going to engage the British. I don't even think they see this. I don't even think they see what's going on here. Look at this, they're making a move. The British are still stuck on the hill. Firing at the cap. Look at that. The French are doing something here on the flank. And finally, the British realize, oh my god. The French have crossed the river and causing some commotion. Now, here comes the cav. And the cav is going to force these guys to form square. The cav is going to force these guys to stand their ground. All right. All right. Uh, stop right there, cav. Stop right there. Let's see. What is he going to do with the cav? Yep. There they go. They form square. He's just making it very easy for his infantry. No, 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 don't, don't charge in the calf into the square formation. And he's going to charge it. Oh, nice, the French charging into this square. King German Legion Light. There we go. So they might break him because of the support of the infantry. Oh, no, they broke the British. Wow. Wow, that was a sloppy, sloppy engagement by the French. Really bizarre because I thought they had that one. I thought this was their advantage. It's not over yet though, but... Oh, nice. Another French general down. Oh, massive charge from the Russians over on this side. Man, we were focused on the wrong engagement. Massive bayonet charge taking out the French lines. And now things are looking really good for the Allies. Really, really good. Look at this is what's left of the French as they hold up uh, in this vegetation. Uh, but they're not going to be holding up for much longer. Yep, there they go. There they go. The French having to fall back there. And that's pretty much it. Like, that's that was that French force. Now gone. Thanks to the excellent British cav, um, cav engagements. And now I think the French realize, hey, we've got to push down this hill. If we want any chance of winning this one, we've got to push down. And I just don't think they have enough. I just do not think they have enough to take this one. Uh, we're down to the last 13 minutes of the battle. Uh, let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit here, guys. And just see like how this plays out a little bit. 
The Russians are now just kind of cleaning up the French. Uh, they can now flank around this way and uh, start to take this hill, which they do have some cav up here. Um, but yeah, he could easily take this hill, use his numbers. Let's see, but why is he going? Why is he headed back towards the front? He should go. At least some Russians are going around the, the flank. So let's go back to normal speed. So yeah, we are at 13 minute mark. We're about 45 minutes into this battle replay. And um, I think it's been... I, I mean, honestly, I don't want to... I don't want to say it, but it, it's going to be pretty hard for these French to turn this one around. And they're now falling back everyone. Yeah, they've lost over here. Um, they've got this building captured, but for how much longer, I do not know. Uh, the British are now crossing the land bridge. And they're going to get try to get behind the, the French as they fall back. The French are falling back because they're running out of men to defend every single spot. And there is a nice little bayonet charge by the British, which they do break the um, French Grenadiers. There's a whole other layer, though, of Grenadiers. And the, the Highlanders are going to continue to push in here and try to take out uh, these Grenadiers. There we go. Nice little engagement. But uh, they need more. They need more to push through. Oh, oh, did they charge? Oh, no, the British are hanging back. I thought the British charged up here. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. The, Brit uh, the French still falling back their reserves, getting them back to the safety of this hillside. And that was a nice little engagement there. Oh, nice little cab charge over here. Nice little cab charge. The man of the must rest and they do break them. They're going to hold right here, and this is where they're going to set up their last stand, obviously. And we'll go ahead and just uh, fast forward a bit, wait for the next engagement, which it looks like it's going to be pretty soon. The British are pushing forward. Artillery shelling the position. The nice balance of power glitching out over there for the British. I love it. The balance of power is... There it goes. It goes back to normal. You see that? It's just so goofy. Oh, man, the artillery really giving hell to these Frenchmen who are holding up on the hillside. There they go. They pop a shot. They get a little bit closer. Just reforming a, a tad bit there. Push, men. Push. Look, you can see the smoke coming up behind these soldiers. Oh, my God. That is epic. These guys look fantastic. There's something about this unit that just looks so good. British lines opening fire. More Frenchmen trying to line up here, trying to defend this hill. They will not give up. British uh, have their extra forces coming up this way. We do have a French line unit holding the uh, defensive back. Lots of French lines holding this, uh, this back position, which is giving them a lot of support there. But really, guys, I mean... It almost seems like the British alliance, the, the allies are just attacking out of courtesy because they don't need to do this. They just do not need to do this. They've got this battle under control. They have enough points. Oh man, those explosions. 40th foot. They're up here. Come on, fire! Yeah, really, really rely. Oh, is that another cav charge? Yes, it is. 18th Hussars. Even more cav. Oh, no, it's the same unit. And now, the are they going to bayonet charge? Yes, indeed. There they go. Going in for the bayonet. Charge, man. Charge. Uh, the cav breaks. That's all right. I, I think that bought them more time. Oh, now he's, he's sending in uh, Arthur. Into the battle. Excellent. There they go. Charging in. That's cool. There they go. Massive bayonet charge. Hold for Napoleon. For liberty. For freedom. There they go. They're trying. They are trying. 
over here. We got a nice line battle going on, but I'm seeing a lot of breaking French. It just seems like they've uh, they've met their match, guys. It seems like this is going to be the last of the French defense, but the French still holding on pretty impressively. The British really need to spread out their forces here a bit. I can't see the morale of the of the French. It's, uh, it's green. They might. I've seen it before. They might hold against this massive force. Russians coming around the flank. Uh, British are now kind of reforming their lines. They're getting ready to attack this backside. Which the French have kind of abandoned. And now the Russians have claimed this road. And yeah, the, the defenses are lost. I mean, they're no longer defending the flanks, guys. And sure enough, they are breaking some British over here. These are really good units. Hold! So epic. British still just putting down suppressing fire over here, breaking their numbers, breaking their lines. The French are... What are they doing? They're leaving. They're abandoning the defenses. I was wondering where it happens, all those like those troops in the, in the rear over there. But yeah, they're leaving the city. They're just getting out of there. Prolonging their demise. Avoiding the inev inevitable... Um, but or delaying the inevitable, but yeah, it's not looking great guys So I think what I'm gonna do here is just say that we this battle the Yeah, there goes. Great. I'm pretty sure that was Napoleon, but this battle is pretty much lost at this point So I'm gonna go ahead and just get us to the end results. Oh, uh, I, I just assume that they are going to uh, Basically cut down the French as they uh, continue to retreat French are falling back doing a little bit of a river battle over here a little river crossing battle they're now falling back once again, and they will soon be defeated here because we are almost out of time. Four minutes, and the uh, the Alliance pretty much owns this battlefield. All right, guys, so here we are with the results. Uh, that, I mean, this was a pretty decisive victory for the Allies. I mean, they, they pretty much controlled the battlefield for the entire battle. Ever, like, once the French retreated... I think that was their downfall right at the beginning of the battle as soon as they gave up that town over to the right side It was over and they couldn't recover. They tried to push back, but it just it wasn't good enough It just couldn't get it done uh, So yeah, some good kills Jokadale getting a thousand two hundred eighty one kills uh, Really helping his team out. He was probably the one defending uh, that that hillside uh, I believe this was sent in by the Russian player so I think it was Cohen. So thank you so much, man, for the battle replay, getting 1,300 kills with the other Russian player getting 1,700 kills. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so some really great gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Another epic NTW3. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, share, and of course subscribe for more epic battles. I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield.